Hello everyone and welcome to a professional match of StarCraft 2. Joining me on the map 2,000 atmospheres in the upper right, the red Protoss, it is Max Pax. And the Terran opponent in the bottom left with the blue command center and the bear portrait as always, Clem. Max Pax and Clem, two of the most hyper aggressive players, both building their buildings in their own base. For shame, I feel lied to. It's false advertisement, guys. My word. Aren't you supposed to be attacking each other already? It's only one minute into the game. Ah, you can let me dream. You can let me hope. Not going to be the case, though. No proxy racks. No proxy gate shenanigans. Is it going to be a nexus? No. Core? Max Pax, do you not feel safe? It's going to be a core first. No safety is felt here. It clems in the game, and it's gonna be a Clem Reaper kind of game, alright. Not even I feel safe, and I'm the caster. Oh. So, Max Pack's gonna open up with a core before Nexus. Clem with the standard Reaper expand. Looking fine so far. Nobody's actually gonna be dying in the first three minutes, unless the Reaper does some absolutely incredible damage but unlikely to happen here's the real moment of truth what is the tech choice from max packs gets an adept going the core's all finished stargate twilight skip straight to dark templar probably not stargate is going to be the choice little bit hidden too towards the back of the base okay I like it. Probably an Oracle. If I had to guess. It could be Phoenix. I highly doubt it's Void Ray, though. Really, you two? Peekaboo. Can't catch me. <laughs> the Reaper and the Adept. We need something to break up this abusive relationship here, don't we? Well, I'm just denying a little bit of mining grenade to the face. Saves the Reaper's life. Adept number two comes out to try and shut all that down, to quit harassing my friend here. I actually took a fair bit of health off that Adept. For a Reaper, I'm a little impressed. Factory and the Barracks did a little bit of a switcheroo, so that Clem could get some Hellions out. You too. You harassed my sister, Reaper. No, no. None of that. None of that. We're skipping past that. Clem... Got the 1-1-1 one, one, one coming out. It's going to be Hellions into Widow Mines. That's a little interesting. Adept in peril is going to get out with the shade, though. Takes an SCV for her troubles, even harassing the mule. You didn't think robots could be harassed. They have no feelings, but that one, he does. He does. He didn't feel like he could work under those conditions. Oracle comes here, turns on the laser beam. Not going to get the Hellion, though. Phoenix? You can't lift it. Nothing else is here to help you. So I guess you're just going to chase them with some strong words. Some insults. Maybe a few sarcastic comments, but nothing past that. Phoenix production is continuing, so it's going to be a Phoenix build. Adding on some more gates? Is it Colossi? I doubt it. Oh, even the rocks get picked up. How many of you knew that? Be honest. You can be honest in the comments. How many of you knew that rocks were picked up with the Phoenix lift ability? It's kind of cool. Looks like Revelation got tagged onto some Widow Mines. One did get out of the medevac, though. Max Pax. Revelation. No, not the Oracle. Max Pax. Oh. The Phoenix didn't have any energy to lift the Widow Mine, and the Oracle was in front. 
Come on, man. You're not supposed to lose the Oracle like that. Oracle is good scouting. Keeping tags on the Terran army. Oh my word. Additional barracks, finish it up for Clem. Stim is on the way. Combat shields probably shortly afterwards. Phoenix, hit by the Widow Mine. Hidden behind the barracks, not even I saw that one. How can I blame Max Pax? That guy. Little dirty devil. Widow Mines. Ugh. This is why we complain about Widow Mines. I don't know what that was, but it was apparently a bad investment. Max Pax agrees. I don't know. 75. Is it a battery? It's either a battery or a pylon. And since it was next to a pylon, I'm going to guess. It's probably a battery. Clem moving out now. A little bit of two base pressure on the menu. Oh, there's the third CC. Just gotta prove me wrong, Clem. Go for it. Normally, with this kind of two base play, you see siege tank. I'm guessing there are no siege tanks because of the presence of Phoenix. Good. Force fields come out. Cyclone getting damage done on the sentry. Battery overcharge going to be used to deny that sentry, sentry's death. Can continue that one. Deny the cyclone the joy of killing the sentry. Marines stimming forward. Zealots don't want to connect onto the widow mines though. Widow Mines are very good against Zealots. What is going on over here? Widow Mines. Oh, what a good hit. Eight probes go down. Meanwhile, the third base is being pushed. Phoenix is trying to push everything back. Widow Mines connecting onto the Zealots. All of the Zealots going to be cleaned up. There's still one. Oh, he's gone. His life for ire. This whole force is going to be pushed back. It is going to be cleaned up, so Max Pax, third base, is safe. Oh, the Widow Mind shot. Oh, that hurt. That hurt on so many levels. Alright, Phoenix production is still continuing. Max Pax loving the Phoenix this game. I, I kind of agree with it. Although this uh, third base is going to need something a little more substantial than just sentries and Phoenix to kind of hold Clem back. Why is it that Phoenix can lift up siege tanks in siege mode? Like, not even buildings can handle siege tanks in siege modes. You can glitch out missions in the campaign with siege tanks in siege mode, but Phoenix can just lift that up? I'm, I'm ranting. It's a side tangent. Move on with my life. Zealots moving on into the natural disrupting the reinforcements of Clem. Meanwhile, this army is being pushed back. Phoenix is going to clean up the Marauders. Not going straight for the Medivacs. All right. Health insurance will continue for the Terran army. Medivacs are safe. Combat shields. That seems a little late. I think that was supposed to happen a bit earlier in the game, but who knows? Ghosts are on the way. I like it. I saw the Templar archives finish somewhere there's the templar and there's the templar i am great at this job archons on the way a formidable force were it not for the presence of these guys with their emp rounds no emp shockwave upgrade just yet so Slightly smaller radius on the EMP than it could be, but it's still going to be deadly effective versus the Protoss. Shields. One of the most damaging spells in the game if we consider shields to be a form of health or armor. Because it takes off, is it a hundred? I think it's a hundred on everything that it hits. Maddening. Being very active with his Phoenix, both real and hallucinated. Good job to Max Pax. Couple Zealots gonna make their way over here. There is a Widow Mine though, so one of them already going to pay with its life. Clem pushing over against the fourth base. There are more Phoenix and they float over the Terran forces to draw the Widow Mine hits. Archon's gonna clean everything up with a nice little bit of a lightning slap. Looks like Hallucinated Phoenix watching the Zealot get a little bit of damage done. Archons cleaning up Widow Mines. 
relatively. Where's the observer? Does he have an OBS? No, he doesn't have an OBS yet. It just came out. There it is. Okay. So Clem is totally able to push this position right now. I'm a little surprised, actually. Impressed, even, with his ability to entrench these positions without siege tanks. It's ghosts and widow mines. What a team. What a combination. This is like the textbook anti-Protoss composition here. Kind of kind of crazy. I like it. I like what I see. Archons not able to do much up against that EMP round. Single force field battery overcharge used perhaps a little prematurely. There's a lot of charged zealots, but they do not want to go into this choke with the Widow Mines in play as well. I see something moving over here. What is this? Widow Mines and Ghost Drop Squad. All right. I have seen it all now. Well, I'm still pushing this base over here. Max Pack's going to have to split up his forces. Looks like a few charge slots will clean everything except the mines up. Force fields trying to deny movement of the Terran forces, but just not able to. Beautiful EMPs go out onto the sentries and the Archons. There's no more energy on the sentries, so no more force field, no more guardian shield. This group going to be eventually cleaned up. The Widow Mines are still here, though. And they're still getting damage done. Peace out, stalkers. Ooh. Max Pax has Colossus coming. Be a great answer to try and clean most of this up. Colossus do pretty well against Marines, Mines, and Ghosts. So, I do like the answer, but can it get here quick enough? Thermal Lance going to be extended as well. Always a good upgrade. A good upgrade for you guys. Upgrades, how are we doing? Clem is working on 2 2. Max Pax does have his plus 2 armor and is just now finishing plus 1 weapons. Hmm. Things a little stalemate here, a little bit of a stagnation. Max Pax is going to charge forward though, right into the field of the Widow Mines. I do not like that play whatsoever, even trying to drag the shots onto the Terran's forces. Couple zealots gonna be cleaned up there. They did get a few SCVs, but not much else. Hmm. <laughs> Clem sitting there thinking, alright, you see my widow mines. There's gotta be an observer overhead. Max Pax, that observer placement was a little obvious. Even I would have to admit that one. Why is the factory He's in the dunce corner, right? He was a bad factor. He's got to sit over there. Just go think about what you've done. Well, what did the factory do? He made widow mines, okay? Factory made widow mines is very bad. We don't like it. Go sit in the corner. Disruptors coming out, too. Clem's army supply is quite nice, though. 109 to 60. Protoss army supply. Setting up a couple groups, it looks like. What is this? A single zealot going to be picked off. The Protoss forces fought back up against the wall in the Robo Bay. The Terran's army is just too strong. The upgrade advantage of 2 2 really coming into play. Nice EMP rounds go out on the Stalkers, and there are Vikings to deal with the Colossi. One of them is going to go down, the other two forced to retreat. This is just way too much Terran. Max Pack's gonna have to tap out. GG is called. Very nicely done by both of you. An enjoyable watch. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know in the comments below, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day.